Hello my friends. If you've got eyelash trim and sequins, I'm going to show you how to make these very whimsical, very fun, very easy ornaments. You can see I have several themes going on here. So before we get into the how-to, I'm going to show you them in detail. So this one has, it, this one is made out of red eyelash trim and you can see I used some yarn that is red and white and you can see here that I used some big sequins and they kind of to me look like snowflakes and then here's some smaller ones silver it with a red sequin on top with little tiny head pins to hold that in hopefully you can see that so this I didn't think I was gonna like this one but I actually like it a lot very simple to do. This one is made with white eyelash trim, not a long eyelash trim, fairly short. And I used some flowers that were given to me by Kathy of Kathy's Favorite Things. This was given to me by my friend Crystal, just crafting over here. And then I used some of those larger head pins with some larger sequins throughout. And then here's just a little flower that I had. I got to use up some of my stash, which I thought was nice. I think this is so cute. Again, very whimsical. Um, if you have a sort of a, a light colored tree like I do, I have silver trees, this would be cute, depending on your theme, of course. Now this one, I wasn't sure about. Oh, and I haven't, oh, here it is. Yeah, okay. So this one is mostly, yeah, actually, this one is pink eyelash trim. And you can see I've got some buttons on here. I've got lots of butterflies, lots of flowers. These flowers have a sequin and then a larger head pin in. This butterfly is held on by a head pin. So uh, we've got some buttons here holding the flowers on. So this is just um, a very busy one, but super cute if you're into sort of a pastel or pink Christmas, or if you like a little bit of purple. And then there's this one. One. This is my flamingo one. This is made out of pink and uh, the roll is like this. It's like pink and yellow. It looks like sherbet. That's what I would call this is like sherbet. So that's this one. And if you are able to see it, let me make sure I'm focused. There's little flamingos and this one you can see the flamingo a little bit better. It's on a flower. There's the flamingo and a big head pin is holding that in. So we've got this one's relatively simple. We've got some sequins, we have our flamingos, and we have a few flowers. It's just cute and whimsical and fun, and I absolutely love it. Now, the one that I don't like at all, it's a complete fail, is this one. So, here, now, it, it could be turned into something decent, probably. But here's what I found. The yarn was big. It's this. This this is pretty hefty yarn, which I love, but not for doing this sort of thing. So it sort of made it an oblong shape, as you can see. Now, I could go put some things in it, and I might. And if I do end up doing something with this, I'll be sure to show it to you guys. But I haven't quite decided yet. Now let's get started with what we used to create this. We used the foam balls, sequins, the yarns, some strands of pearls, some flowers that I had in my stash. Hopefully you can see through my jar. Head pins that I got out of my stash. I ordered some new ones. Some small head pins, and these were a little bit too small for some of my sequins, just so you know. So go for a little bit of a larger head pin so you don't have any issues. The first thing I did was cover the foam balls with the eyelash trim. I did tack it down with my hot glue gun when I first started it, and then I just went around sort of in a, a little bit of a pattern and then tacked it occasionally. I didn't tack it every time I wound the yarn around it. These are the foam balls that I got. It's called Craft Foam. Most of these were done the same way. So once I got the eyelash trim on the styrofoam balls, I grabbed the sequins and the head pins. Now the first ones that I made, I used the little head pins, so I had to make sure I layered my sequins. So the small sequin went on the pin first, and then the large one went on second. And I used the small one to keep the head pin from uh, like going through, because the large one, the hole is bigger, and it, the, the pin would not have held it on. So I kind of had to layer it in order to do that. 
On some of them, I went ahead and I put a little dab of glue down just because I knew that the head pins were really, really small and I figured it wouldn't hurt to just have a little dab of glue, you know, just in case it thought about coming undone. I was done with that I grabbed the red and white yarn and I glued it around and then tied it into a knot and then created the part where you can hang it on the tree. This was my first time doing this so I wanted to keep the first one really simple and this was a great way to do that. So on the next view I, I got a little bit fancier I guess. So I got my flowers out and I figured I could go ahead and you know put some of those on there well you can see here that I have a strand of pearls and I'm going around and I'm showing you this and keep in mind this is how I did the red and white yarn on the red one same exact steps so I put a little glue on did the strand and that way I'm creating the I don't know what we're gonna call it but anyway the handle so that you can hang it on a tree so that's how I did that now on this one sorry this is the other ornament I don't know how I skipped anyway I put two strands of pearls on there just for decoration now I'm hot gluing some butterflies and I'm also pinning some butterflies so the butterflies that are sequins I'm using a big head pin to keep those on but the other ones are not sequins and so I'm hot gluing those ones on I'm also doing some layering with some flower petals. So I'm using a head pin, then I'm putting some sequins on there, and then I'm putting the flower petal and I'm popping that on too. So each one of these was done a little bit different, but also some of them have the same steps as well. So you can keep it as simple as you want or make it as fancy as you want. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like my fun and very whimsical ornaments. I do like them. They're very different. They're very fun. I just, I think they're great. It was a fun project to do. Low stress, no mess. Thanks for watching. See you soon.